Hello, my name is Jay, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Ugreen uh, USB 3.0 to SATA 3 adapter, which is basically simply put, uh, it takes the USB and basically lets you connect a hard drive to it. So, um, long story short, um, I actually have some stuff off some old computers. I like to store in a couple hard drives that I have. And so I got this. This is not one of like the free products I got. Um, this is actually something I bought with my own money uh, to actually use. So I wanted to review it, hopefully make a little bit of that back in some of the uh, AdSense revenue that I get. And uh, basically just go through and do you guys a little bit of review because this is a great idea and concept. Um, so basically, you know, a lot of people will go out and get external hard drives, they'll pay the money for that. When in reality, you can uh, just get Get this and put all your data on those external hard drives and switch them out with it and having a lot more freedom to do so rather than having a set you know device set little block that does have a uh, just one drive in and you really can't mess with that um, so basically what I'm going to do today is just kind of show you guys walk you through this kind of explain to you guys um, like my honest opinions reviews of this and then of course I'm going to make a separate video about making some really cool custom uh, external drives that have a lot more uh, freedom to you know to switch them out or do stuff with it um, so we'll make some custom external drives uh, using this as well um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unbox this today I'm gonna go through and just kind of uh, mess around with it uh, give you, you know plug it into some stuff test to give like a quick review of it um, and then you know tomorrow I think this is going for today so Monday's video uh, will be like custom uh, hard drive encl enclosure and stuff I think I'm, I'm really happy about that one because it's gonna look really cool um, but yeah I'm gonna do that um, so let's get into like the unboxing experience and then we'll go through and uh, kind of give you guys a Nice little uh, overall opinion, um, and then we'll get testing it and test how it goes. Okay, so unboxing time. And uh, I gotta say, like, out of the, all the stuff that I've gotten, like, free stuff in the past, I've gotten a lot of cool stuff. And, uh, I mean, I love the plastic on it. I think it does, like, a good job of uh, really saying quality. I like the little plastic wrap on it. I mean, you just gotta, it's a great experience. You know, who, let's be honest, who doesn't like the, the, the feeling of just, you know, pulling that away, like, nice little plastic wrap. Um, so I think this opens up and what do we get? Oh, so they actually did a nice job with this. I'm actually kind of really impressed. Um, so this is the adapter itself. I'm assuming this is the power brick and that's pretty much it. So if you go online, there's a lot of adapters. They're actually like a good bit of adapters. Um, one of them will, they kind of look like this. Um, they'll just have the, uh, the SATA part itself and then they'll just have the um, USB adapter and that's it. And the problem with that is if you have anything large, if you have a 3.5 inch drive, when you plug that in, it won't work because the, the drive itself will pull more power than you can get out of the USB. Uh, so you need a separate adapter. Since I actually have a bunch of like 3.5 inch drives, I'm gonna be using that. If you add a 2.5 inch, you could put this, put this on with the USB and you'd be fine. Um, so that's kind of why some of the um, external drives have smaller um, spaces. Um, but there's also more expensive, the, the small drives are always more expensive. So pretty much I like to get this, which allows me to have those big drives, which also are cheaper and have more storage so you can store most stuff on them as long as you have the extra brick plugged in. So let's get into just seeing what this looks like. So I was kind of really impressed with how they made this look. Like obviously this is just a piece of plastic on the top that really um, just kind of makes it just a little piece of plastic and a little wire. Um, and then there's the chip in there that kind of converts it from the USB to uh, the SATA and power. Uh, but I do like the way it looks. It looks pretty cool. Um, it is kind of a relatively cheap plastic though, which is kind of what you'd expect. I think this is like 30 bucks. Um, and then the adapter that plugs into the side here for when you have those um, thick drives uh, that you need to uh, that you need to power. So pretty much that's what you get. Um, and I'll go grab a drive real quick and we'll you know, show you what that looks like. So here's a nice little hard drive. Um, I just got some stuff in that, or I wrote, scribbled some stuff out. Uh, less P things that people can steal warranty. I've had people try to steal the warranty from it, like before, that's happened before. It basically just fits in there like that. So it's kind of flush. Uh, maybe get this cable a little bit differently. But yeah, it just kind of sits flush um, and you just have a pretty much a drive. Um, this hooks in. It is, it is a little bit off though, so it actually does sit a little bit higher, which I do think is a, a little disappointing if I unplug this. But yeah, you can pretty much just see it just kind of sits in there and allows you to like have an external drive or connect it and pretty much just read and write off of it. So I'm going to go get a computer up here real quick. I'm going to go test it, see what it, how difficult it is to set up, uh, get my monitor over here, and then we'll just go from there and uh, test it from there. So pretty much I'm just going to log in. 
Um, my lovely password is super simple. It's password. Um, but pretty much, uh, this is just the $30 gaming PC that I've used. And funny story, this has actually become super helpful. I've set, I have it sitting underneath the desk. That's where the hard drive is too. Underneath the desk or whatever. And uh, it's pretty uh, impressive. So let's see, I'm just going to set this up real quick. Disk manager. Uh, yeah, that's probably what it is. And uh, just go through and forget that. Don't need Steam. But honestly, it is just super nice to have this set up. So we've got a, let's see, we've got a, is it not showing up? I didn't like the, the USB port I was putting in. I don't think that's their problem. One of the things I did notice though is uh, testing it. Uh, when I took out the drive, it's actually hot swapping. So you can hot swap the drives without actually having to like turn the system off, which I've got to say is very nice. Uh, I don't know how, I mean, of course I'd stop saving everything. Oh, let's create a new partition. Initialize disk. Okay. Let's, uh, Wait, I don't know. I, don't, I think I have to make a simple partition, I think. Yep. New simple volume. Blah, 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 uh, blah. Okay. And then that will be a drive that we'll be able to grab. Um, and that once that's done formatting, you can write to it. Um, but basically what this allows us to do is just have use any drive that we have and uh, throw it on there. And as you can see, now we have a partition. You can put your Steam games on there. You could transfer those Steam games, which is probably something I'm going to end up doing. Um, but it basically allows you to read and write to those drives really quickly. So for example, for the um, stuff that I'm getting off of my uh, old Macs that I have uh, from a lot when I was younger, uh, I'm actually trying to sell those. Uh, then I'm just basically going to kind of write that on there and uh, write all the old stuff that I want on there. Um, those are really good for video editing. Uh, back when I got started getting into it, but you know, since I've had a computer for our PC on and off for a couple of years, I really like them better. Um, but yeah, so that's going to wrap it up for the uh, kind of review section. I mean, it's, it's, it does what it kind of says. Um, and let's go through. And um, I guess my overall opinion is uh, it's 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 it's, 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 it's advertised as is. It does what it says it does. Yeah, big surprise there. Um, but I do like the hot swapping. I don't think that was advertised on there, but that's very nice of a feature. Um, the other thing is, is that it just, uh, we could do a quick file write test. I don't know. I have a feeling since it's USB 3, it's just going to be like the same thing as if it was uh, in the computer itself. So I'm not too worried there either. Um, honestly, uh, it, it just seems like overall uh, exactly what I'm looking for. Um, but basically, tune in uh, tomorrow and I'll have a custom external drive that I'll be messing with um, and we'll make it like an enclosure for it out of some cool materials and that will be tomorrow's video. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and as always, goodbye.